Question number five of April 2022. Explain five limitations of cost volume profit analysis or CVP analysis. Sometimes we talk of a break even point analysis. The limitations we can say number one. Uh, CVP analysis relies on simplified assumptions. It relies on simplified on simplified analysis assumption sorry and a simplified assumption that may not hold true in reality that may not may not hold true in reality number two <coughs> he said that cvp assumes that cvp assumes that cvp assumes that uh, sales mix or the proportions sales mix or proportions of different products of different products or service sold remains constant or service sold remains constant number three you can say that uh, it assumes that the time horizon for analysis it assumes that the time horizon for analysis horizon for analysis is short and static static is short and static number four we say that it ignores the uncertainty of risk it ignores the uncertainty and risk involved risk involved in complex and dynamic market in complex and dynamic dynamic market and then lastly number five we can say that uh, it focuses on accounting profit it focuses on accounting profit or the difference between revenue and what and cost that is the cvp in other words of break even point what it does and then but B Bento Limited Manufactures Product Y has prepared the following sales budget for the first five months for the year 2022. Of the January sales we have been given there, February, March, April, and May. Additional information inventory of finished goods at the end of every month is to be equal to 25% of the sales estimate for the next month on january 1st june 2022 there were 270 units of the product y on hand that was called opening inventory there's no stock of work in progress at the end of the year any month there's no stock of work in progress at the end of any month meaning we are not going to transfer the material to 
the other the root of month then every unit requires to type of material in the following quantities material a and material b then material equals to one half of the requirement for the next productions are to be held in hand at the end of every month this this requirement was met on january 1st 2022 required prepare the production budget for the quarter ended that the first March 2022. Therefore, let's calculate something. We are told that um, we are told something here. The, 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 the inventory of finished goods at the end of every month is equal to 5% of the sales estimate for the next month. Therefore, we can have January, Jan, Feb, March, and April. Now, January, I told that uh, this meaning the closing inventory, inventory of goods at the end, that's closing inventory of January is equal to 25% of the sales estimate for the next month. Now, January, the first sales for, for February is 1560. Therefore, you can say 25% of 0.25 multiplied by 15, 60, 600. And then we can, for, for February, we can talk about. 0 0.25 we are multiplying by 12 200 then for March we can talk of uh, 0 0.25 have 0 0.25 we are multiplying by 10 400 then eventually for every 0 0.25 we multiply for May that is 9800 What you get if you do that, we have 0 0.25 multiplied by 15,600. We have 3,900. And then we have a 0 0.25. We are multiplying by 12,200. Half 30, 50. And then 0 0.25 multiplied by 10,400. Half 2,600. And then 0 0.25 multiplied by 9800 half 24 24.50 therefore we can now compute the production budget production budget production budget we have the uh, we shall start uh, we are preparing for, for quarter ending March we are going to have January Feb, then March. We start with what? Closing inventory. Closing inventory for those months. January we have 39. Then Feb we had 30, 50. And March it was 2600. We add units sold unit sold for january we sold 10 800 and for feb we sold 15 600 and 12 200 less opening inventory opening inventory we are told something that additional information number two on January 2012, 2022, there were 270 units of product Y on hand. That's open inventory to 700. But here we are not given since it was a process costing. Whatever was in process one should be taken to process two. We assume if we did have the opening inventory because we are told that uh, there is no stock of work in progress at the end of any month. Plus 10, 800. Minus 2700, we have 12,000. 12,000. thousand. Then we have 30, 50. Plus 15,600. I have 18. 
650, then 2600 plus 12200, we have 14. 800 14 800 and then we are told another thing to prepare the material budgets material budgets budget for the same period now in that case we are told something here that uh, we see it. addition information number four Every unit requires two types of material in the following quantities. We have material A, 4 kgs, then material, material B has 5 kgs. Therefore, we can now determine the material usage for all this particular period. We can talk of material usage. We can have January, Feb. Much. And by now we hit here, we hit 12,000. We hit uh, 18,650. Then 14,800. If you do accumulations, how much do we have? Uh, we have uh, 15, 12, plus 18,650, plus 14,800. We have 45. At this point, we have 45, 450, but requires, we are told that uh, each unit is requiring 4 kg for material A. Material A meaning we have 45, 450, multiplied by 4 kgs, multiplied by 4. We have 1, 81, 800, 1, 81, 800. <clears throat> then we add anything in inventory which is equivalent to what? Anything in inventory. We are going to pick the anything in inventory for January. We picked that is for February, which was 18. 18,650 multiplied by 0 0.5. It was when they say that some material equal to one half of the requirement for the next month. Now, generally the next month is February. If we do that, we have a 0 0.5 multiplied by 18,650, which is 93.25. Just a minute. Yes, multiplied by 4, which is 37. Multiply by 4 kgs, which is 37,300. Then we add 181, 800 plus the answer, which is 2, 19,100. Then we do the same for material what? For B, material B, which is here going to say that uh, that here requires 5, and in that case we just take 45. 450, the one we got it here, we multiply by 5, which is 45, 450, multiply by 5, half to 2, 7, 250, then add ending inventory, or that was closing inventory, which is we take the same, 18, 650, multiply by 0 0.5, multiply by 5. 18, 650, multiply by 0 0.5, multiply by 5, you get 46, 625. Then we add 222, 7, 250, up to 273, 273, 875. 273, 875. That is the material usage. Material usage, we shall use the same formula. We take the material usage. Then we, we have computed the usage which to be added for January, February, March for that quarter. Then we multiply by 4. Then computing closing inventory. That's all for question number 5.